Providing constructive feedback for the Royal Mint is, in my opinion, one of the most important things that we as consumers can and should do. So when I received my half sovereign with an open capsule and a QC sticker stuck on the outside, which left a rather nasty smudgy mark on the capsule, I felt it was my imperative and duty to contact the Royal Mint directly to see if we can provide some feedback and rectify these bad situations. Everybody, Backyard Bullion here, and a warm welcome to you all joining me for another Precious Metal Ramble. Although today I suppose technically we're talking about plastic in the form of capsules, dodgy capsules, loose capsules that have come from the Royal Mint. Now I don't want this to just be a rant and a moan and a you know video that's just all negative. I want this to be an open letter feedback exercise for anybody at the Royal Mint that watches. I know there are people within the exec team which are dealing with these issues because I have fired off emails to the CEO, to the head of operations, and there are people who are in contact with me on a fairly daily basis at the moment, which is really good. The lines of communication are open about this issue. But I want to highlight it here on YouTube as well because it is really important that we as consumers act to get the best possible quality from our National Mint, and I would argue as well the Premier Mint in the entire world. There are some incredible coins coming out from the Mint this year alone, if not the last two, three years. And it is important to make sure that we as consumers feed back to the Mint about the issues that we're experiencing so that they can be rectified. A lot of people have called for just a flat boycott of the Royal Mint because of their poor quality control. And I think that's ultimately a really counterproductive argument for a few reasons. The first being, yes, it's disappointing when you get a bad coin, and it does seem like sometimes you might get more than one bad coin in a row. And I've had two deliveries in a row now where these coin capsules, these new style of coin capsules were loose and the coin was rattling around. Fortunately for this half sovereign, it's perfect. I've had a look under a loop and I can't see any issues on it. So I think I've dodged a bullet there. But the vast majority of the time, it's okay. And you do see a lot of other people commenting that they've got a perfect coin set or a perfect coin delivered and there's no issues whatsoever. So it's the same old sort of human nature situation where if something goes wrong, you're more likely to moan about it, more likely to complain about it. Uh, but it is important to do that when things are not right. And I felt that when I got this second coin with a loose capsule, in addition to uh, the loose capsule, I had a quality control sticker stuck on the back of the capsule as well. Uh, and I'll show you a few pictures of that in a moment as we go. But it was, you know, a bit ironic really to have that QC sticker right on the back of the loose and open capsule. So, as I said, the objective of this video is not really just to shout at the Royal Mint and moan about it and, uh, you know, make drama out of it. This is an open feedback communication because I know I'm not just speaking for myself when there are a number of people who are expressing their disappointment when they open their what is very expensive proof coin set and find that it is either damaged or less than perfect because of one of the most single simplest things in the coin world, a capsule. And it does seem like the Royal Mint has changed their capsules of late. These are basically just friction capsules. So they've got this little lip that you see there. We can get your fingernail in or uh, an implement to open it. And they're just held by friction. Now this is actually on pretty well. I can't seem to open this particularly easily at all. I mean, it's uh, there you go. It's come open there once I've got my finger in, but otherwise it's a pretty sturdy one. And when you've pressurized it and you, you hear that squeaking noise, it's pretty good. But, you know, it does seem like a little bit of maybe movement in the post has caused that to open. And that's definitely an area of feedback for the Royal Mint. These capsules, certainly for me, have not been an isolated incident. And I've seen a number of other people as well who've been reporting and sharing photos of loose capsules upon delivery. Now, the older capsules that they had, the screw top ones, were just fine. And it's interesting to know why those have perhaps changed. Uh, some people have said perhaps these capsules are cheaper. Could be, had, you know, capsules are capsules at the end of the day. There's, we're talking about pennies upon, you know, thousands of pounds worth of coins held within them. So it, it does strike me as, you know, it would be a bit of a funny thing to save a couple of pennies on, uh, you know, a £4,000 product on the five coin set or even a £300 product like this particular half sovereign. 
But uh, maybe that's a factor, I don't know. I can't really speculate too much on that. But in terms of feedback, I have to say these capsules not as good as the old screw top ones. So perhaps that's something to feedback. Now in terms of feedback, uh, I do want to uh, put a message out here to everybody. If you have had a bad experience in a particular coin from the Royal Mint, if you've received a damaged or dinged or loose capsule coin with issues, um, it's important to feed that back to the raw mint. A lot of people will just be like, I can't be, I can't be dealing with the, with the you know stress of returning, replacing, and all of that. I just want out. I'm not impressed with it, and that's fine. I get that. That's understandable, and that's one of the things that I think it's important for the raw mint to take feedback on. That there are customers out there who will perhaps push the boat for themselves because they've really, really invested in this idea of having this particular coin. And then they're just bitterly disappointed when they get it. And that's something that's really important to, to feed back to the Mint, that these single, like first, you can only make a first impression once, and it is important to make sure that first impression is as good as it can be for those new customers. Now, for a weathered and seasoned Royal Mint, you know, procurer of coins like myself, um, I can quite happily make these kind of videos all day long, talk about the quality control, sending it back, making sure we get the right kind of replacement coins. Um, but it's not something I like doing. I would much rather just feedback to the Mint that they've hit the ball out of the park. It's wonderful. It's great. So there are, I think, there are, there's certainly a time and a place for making sure that feedback is shared with the Raw Mint. Uh, and I would encourage anybody who has had a negative experience on capsules, on production quality, to feed that back to the Raw Mint. Um, do so politely, though. I think it's important. You know, this is an open, honest feedback message. I could just sit here and rant and moan and shout at the Raw Mint and say how it's awful and it's not right. But that's not going to get us anywhere. Uh, you know, what I have done uh, outside of this video is I have raised the issue that I have talked about the loose capsules and indeed the quality control sticker on the back of this particular coin which by the way isn't isolated there's been a few other people who've shared the same thing um, as a point of concern with the exec team I have emailed the chief executive officer I have emailed the chief of operations and they have been replying really really very promptly and very openly about the situation they are looking into it they are going to be providing feedback on this situation in due course and when I get that I will share it as best as I can if there's anything that's not confidential and private from my own perspective in terms of orders and things so it's important that they understand that these issues are issues and they're not just people moaning and it is important to get done in this world of social media and fast-paced consumer action it is important to get it right and I do think the Raw Mint understand that um, and I get that there are um, logistical issues with any kind of business and production but when you've got something that's at this price point it needs to be done right and that's what we aim to do and to provide so I guess in summary what I'd like to say is that Royal Mint we are feeding back what is what is not great the quality control does need to be better the capsules need to be improved not putting stickers on the coin capsule in the first place would be a nice addition as well. I know that doesn't happen all the time, but it is something that's happened to not just me, but a few other people as well. So I think we're on the right path. I think we're feeling back in the right way. I would encourage anybody out there who is concerned about their own quality control issues to contact the Royal Mint as well and to make sure that they understand that it's not just isolated for a few customers. It, it is bigger and it is more widespread. That's, I guess, the message that I wanted to share today, that, uh, you know, it is important to feedback, but feedback politely, feedback respectfully, don't just shout, don't just moan, uh, do so in a constructive way, otherwise things won't change. And, you know, the idea of boycotting the Royal Mint entirely is, you know, completely counterproductive and, and futile, if I'm being completely honest. Uh, they, they won't get that feedback if we just don't continue to engage with them. So that's where we are. A big thank you to everybody for watching. A thank you to the Royal Mint uh, exec team as well for their uh, prompt communications on this matter. I, I do, I am impressed every time there's been an issue with anything, uh, and I know having an issue is in itself a bad thing, but every time there has been an issue, the customer service has always been exemplary from the Royal Mint, and I think that is an important factor. You know, everybody is human, everybody has the potential to make mistakes, whether it's a QC person having a bad day or if it's the I don't know, the, the, the die maker that's put something in wrong and something's not quite right with the coin. You know, it, everybody has a bad day, but it's about how an, an organization, how an institution 
acts upon, uh, acts upon the feedback and rectifies situations that really marks out, I think, the difference. And the Rawmint has always been very good at that. So with that in mind, let's finish today's video. A big thank you to you all for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Uh, if you've enjoyed this content, please do make sure you hit that subscribe button and like button. It really does help everything we do here on YouTube. Otherwise, we'll see you next time. As always, please make sure that you like, share, comment, and subscribe for more.